In combat, the success or failure of a mission depends not only on the skill and training of the soldiers involved. It depends also on the effectiveness of their weapons, the firepower, the accuracy, and the reliability. The reliability of any rifle depends to a great extent on the care and maintenance it is given. But even the best care and maintenance will not prevent certain situations which may cause malfunctions. A soldier's ability to cope with these situations, to use appropriate field expedients to keep his rifle operative, may very well determine the success of his mission, or in some cases, his own survival. Take stream crossings, for instance. Naturally, most men try to keep their rifles and ammunition dry. But they may not all succeed. When this happens, it's very important that you know what to do. The M16A1 is a high-powered rifle with a relatively small bore, so it must be kept free of obstructions at all times especially water. If your weapon has been submerged, water won't drain out simply by lowering the muzzle. You have to pull back slightly on the charging handle to break the seal of the round in the chamber. Then, when you shake the rifle, the water will run out. Water in the barrel will obstruct the passage of the bullet and blow up the weapon. Drain the lower receiver extension cavity through the drainage hole in the butt cap screw to prevent interference with the operation of the recoil mechanism. Wet ammunition can also cause stoppages. When this occurs, remove the magazines and shake out as much water as possible. When your ammunition pouches get wet, the water will run out eventually, of course, but keep them as dry as possible then you can be sure, if you have to fire in the near future, that you won't be introducing water into the chamber with each round. While water alone is bad enough, it is even worse when mixed with dirt to form mud. But in certain areas of the world, mud is a soldier's constant companion. In a situation like this, you had better know what to do if mud gets in your rifle. You don't have time to clean the weapon properly, so clean it as best you can before you try to use it. First, remove the dirty magazine. This can be put aside to be cleaned later. Now clear the weapon. Next, you must get the mud out of the barrel, as well as the chamber and receiver. If clear water is available, use it to wash these areas. Here's the way to do it. Not an ideal way, perhaps, but it will serve in an emergency. And be sure you don't leave any water in the barrel or in the lower receiver extension cavity. If the drainage hole is blocked, clean it out. Pipe cleaners or anything suitable will do the job. When the rifle is as clean as you can get it under these conditions, insert another magazine and you're back in business. In any event, the rifle must be cleaned before you fire it. As soon as you have the opportunity, give your rifle the cleaning it requires. Under field conditions, the M16A1 should be cleaned a minimum of once a day. You will carry everything you are issued to give your rifle an adequate cleaning, plus other items which you have found useful.
You will have to break the weapon down far enough so that you can clean such vital parts as the chamber, gas tube, bolt, and the bolt carrier key. An excessive buildup of carbon in any of these areas may produce a malfunction. Attach the bore brush to a section of your cleaning rod. Then apply carbon removing compound to the bore brush to clean the gas tube. If the gas tube is not kept free of carbon, the bolt may not fully lock. Now attach the chamber brush to a section of the cleaning rod. Apply carbon removing compound to the brush and clean the chamber. If the chamber is not kept clean, the weapon may develop an extraction problem. A dirty bolt will also cause trouble. If the locking lugs are not kept clean, you will have trouble with locking. If the extractor lip is not clean, it cannot get a firm grip on the cartridge rim and you will have trouble with extraction. For cleaning these areas, a toothbrush is quite useful. Carbon must be removed from the carrier key to prevent problems with extraction, ejection, feeding and locking. To clean this vital part of the rifle, Use a pipe cleaner dipped in carbon removing compound. Dirty ammunition can cause just as much trouble as a dirty rifle. In removing ammunition, be sure you remove it properly so you don't damage the lips on top of the magazine. Slide off the base plate. Then remove the follower spring and follower. Now wipe off the magazine inside and out. Then wipe off the base plate. Give the follower spring and follower a light coat of oil using an oily shaving brush. Don't oil the ammunition. Simply wipe the rounds clean with a dry cloth. When you've finished, reassemble the magazine and reload the ammunition. And you're ready for anything. Almost anything. In combat, the enemy is always around trying to make things difficult. That's why a soldier must be able to cope with emergencies. Emergencies such as the loss of his rifle cleaning equipment. If you should lose your cleaning equipment, field expedients may have to be employed. A piece of heavy wire, for instance, may serve as a limited substitute for your cleaning rod. Or if you run into a friendly mechanized patrol, you might borrow the bore brush and cleaning rod of the 50 caliber machine gun to clean the chamber of your M16A1. Or you can use the cleaning brush which is carried by the grenadier to clean his 45 caliber pistol. It's not a perfect fit, but it'll do the job. In fact, almost anything can be used in an emergency to keep that chamber clean even a bamboo stick and a piece of cloth, but it must be kept clean. In damp or rainy climates, corrosion is a constant problem. 
Under these conditions, if a round has been in the chamber overnight, extract it. Wipe it off to remove the moisture. This will prevent the spent round from freezing in the chamber and possibly causing a malfunction during extraction. Next, remove the charging handle and bolt carrier group. Then, using a section of cleaning rod and a dry rag, thoroughly wipe out the chamber. Remember, your rifle deserves the best care you can possibly give it. Without the proper care and maintenance, all rifles will eventually fail. When you're hotly engaged with the enemy, where every bit of firepower counts, the failure of your rifle is about the worst thing that can happen to you. If your weapon fails to fire, first apply immediate action. Slap the magazine lightly and strike the forward assist to ensure that the magazine and bolt are fully seated. If the weapon still fails to fire, you'll have to find out why. First, clear your weapon. A jammed round could be caused by double feeding created by a failure to extract. If you suspect a rim shear, use your cleaning rod or substitute to dislodge the cartridge case from the chamber. This stoppage was caused by a rim shear which may have resulted from corroded ammunition. Assuming all your ammunition is corroded, insert the magazine in the weapon. While oil in the chamber is normally to be avoided, at times like this, it may be the only thing that will get your rifle back in action. So, squirt some LSA directly into the receiver to reduce the chances of a recurrence. This expedient is only temporary, and normal maintenance must be performed as soon as possible. Oil may also be useful in another type of emergency. When changing magazines, you may accidentally get dirt into the fresh magazine. You know it's your last one. And you're concerned about getting dirt into the chamber, which may cause a stoppage. Here again, a little oil may prevent a lot of trouble. It may assist in seating a dirty round that might not otherwise chamber. Once again, these are only field expedients and do not replace normal maintenance. But when an emergency arises, you must be prepared to take whatever steps are necessary to meet it. At times like this, you can't worry about what might be good or bad for the weapon. All you need to worry about is how to keep it firing. Remember, the M16A1 is a fine rifle. When used in the conditions for which it was designed, such as close-in jungle fighting, it is probably the best rifle ever issued to the American soldier. But it won't perform the way it was intended to perform unless it is given reasonably good treatment and the proper care and cleaning. These emergencies you have seen will require you to use field expedients in order to keep your rifle firing. Remember these expedients or others you may think of yourself, but use them only when absolutely necessary and follow them with complete maintenance as soon as possible.
Then the M16A1 will give you the confidence and the necessary firepower to accomplish your missions. Remember, proper fire control is essential in all combat situations. In this film, however, the M16A1 was fired primarily in the automatic mode in order to emphasize that the weapon will continue to function properly after malfunctions are corrected. Mission accomplished. The patrol returns intact.